Core cardio. I think I'm under the weather, I don't know. Got a snotty nose, I talk like Gucci man. But with that said, get up, get out and get something. Even though you sit or oh, feeling tired, you still gotta do what you gotta do. But if you're like really, really, really sick, you, know, you shouldn't be able to work out. But you know what I'm you know, fuck, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Anyways, let's get it. When I wake up in the morning and I'm in the center and then I'm gonna lift some weights. Then I go to the store and get something to eat. And at the end of the day, I'm gonna beast her cheeks. It's alright, cause it's Baba Tuesday. Yeah. Yo, that's the opposite of me taking pee working. I'm gonna fill my face because that beta alanine got me scratching mean. Yo, yo, what's up? Today is hump day, Wednesday, February 10th. Valentine's Day is coming up. So if you do have a swole mate and he or she is treating you right, man, show them a good time. You know what I mean? Surprise them. You know, don't make any calculated steps. You know, especially if they really like to plan stuff out. Throw them something new. You know what I mean? And if they don't like, you know, surprises, don't throw in a surprise. Just throw in a surprise. You know, just that surprise. Don't, but don't do the full surprise. But anyways, man, February 14th, um, Walking Dead, Valentine's Day, um, Deadpool comes out. I'm going to watch Deadpool on the uh 15th right it's crazy i got a busy day today i just got done working out the cardio uh core a lot of jump ropes treadmills ab ball ab wheel all that uh all wrapped in one um i'm not feeling the greatest but hey i'm out here i'm trying to be a better version of my yesterday so i don't know about you but that's my mission in life right so um let's see yeah so busy day today um i got to shoot i got booked to shoot another fitness video um for legends uh legends are made this one's gonna be epic i'm shooting with some of the athletes for that uh um for that team and everything like that for that line so it's that's gonna be fun and exciting that's later on tonight and i'll show you guys behind the scenes i'm really putting in work you know what I mean? And it might not make sense for a lot of people right now seeing me post up, you know, my day-to-day -day stuff and everything like that, my behind the scenes. But, you know, I was kind of thinking about it when I was driving home from the gym and I'm just like, yo, I can look back on this, like really look back on this and be like, hey, you know, because everything, all my thoughts, all my positivity and my thoughts that I put out in the universe like a year ago, even less than a year ago, is coming into play right now. So I'm blessed and I'm very grateful, even for the little things, man. My family, shoes on my feet, this fresh ass, uh, this is a custom Kavinsky uh, jacket because I'm a real big fan of his. And if you guys don't know who, uh, who Kavinsky is, he is a uh, French uh, producer, DJ, um, he did that night call, and I'm a never night call to show me how to build. He did that. He did a dope track with The Weeknd. I mean, he's out there. I really like his shit. Like, when I'm listening to his music, like, literally, I, I, I kid you not, I feel like I am in a Ferrari Testarossa, 
and I'm driving and I'm I'm driving one of those the ones the Far Eye Testarossa like the 1992 um uh with the little scrapes on the side you know what I mean I'm driving that down the street I still have the custom made dash so all the music I put on tape and I put it up in there so you know I'm just listening to that you know what I mean uh it's just it's really really dope really really dope music uh yeah so um things that i'm going to talk about today uh one of the things i'm going to talk about was brought to uh brought to my attention by my friend elizabeth and she said she watched this tv show about uh the most luxurious prisons in the world and there was one particular prison that stood out to her and it was the uh, uh norwegian prison right she told me like Yo, they got internet, Wi-Fi, they got access to, like, Photoshop, they can play music, they're eating, like, lobster, they're eating, like, salmon, steak, they're cooking, um, they have flat screen TVs and everything like that, I'm like, what? So, uh, this one on a treadmill, I checked it out, totally true, the prison was built in 2010, and I'll have the link below, but the, the, uh, prison was built in 2010, it's just a new alternative way to, uh, I guess, to, I guess, um, I don't know, make prisoners, you know, I get, get, you know, I don't know. I don't know because they're living more plush than me right now, you know, because I'm a broke ass. I'm on the ground all the time. I wish I could get free education. I wish I could get paid to go to prison. You know what I mean? It's totally not like the prison system here. You lied about get to get you know drop the soap and you know you already know the rest. You know what I mean? I've seen American History X. You know I've seen the TV show Oz. Like I do not want to go to prison. No, I avoid actions that will allow me to even present myself to go to prison. You know I'm already driving while I'm black. You know that's already a risk in itself. <laughs> driving. So, Sir, you know why I pulled you over? Because I'm driving while I'm black on a Wednesday. Yeah, here's your ticket. License and registration. No, just joking, kind of, kind of joking. But uh, yeah, like this, it's just crazy, right? And the maximum, like, they don't, like, if you're a murderer, if you're a rapist or anything, the maximum uh, years that you can have in that particular prison, I believe, it's 20. That's what she said. I didn't see that on the video that I watched, but I'm going to have to do some more research on it. But that's just that's just crazy. You know, and I think Norway also has free education or whatnot. And I know a lot of people, like, justify, like, oh, but this is not that. In American, this is not that. But listen, man, if you, have, if you got tricked into going to college, I'm just playing. Maybe I'm not. But if you're going to college and you get out... You accumulate, you know, anything from, I don't know, let's just say $50,000 worth of debt in student loans. Like, you're going to be mostly paying for that for the rest of your fucking life. It's almost like they put you in debt on purpose. It's kind of crazy, right? Uh, it's like, damn, like, so you put kids in debt. And I'm real big. One of the things I stand for is better pay for teachers. Because at the end of the day, other than parents, teachers are very vital in a child's life. I mean, they're teaching your child how to do stuff, you know? Do stuff that... And also, also, why not in school are you, like, teaching children, teaching young adults how to do their own taxes, right? How to... And I know this is old school. How to do a checkbook. Just, just just to know how to do it how to uh stuff about more house house payments mortgage things like things that are actually going to help them out i don't understand why that that is not being taught it's like sometimes you could get i see like people getting thrown into just a situation they don't know what the hell they're getting into why don't you tell them about like teach them about like interest on loans and how that works out you know what i mean just focus on like re they should have a like a like a uh realism studies where shit that goes on and stuff you know but hey what am i you know that's how i guess the system is built 
But that's just me talking about that. You see how conversation happens? I'm talking about prison. Next thing you know, I'm talking about my, my damn student loans. You know, I project that. Now, I'm not sweating it, though. But that's just something to think about. And if you do have kids, hell, I don't... I, I'm not going to put a limitation on anybody. If you have kids and they're like four or five years old and they know their ABCs and their one, two, threes and all in their colors and everything and basic math, mathematics, start teaching them how to like, you know, balance, you know, uh, a checkbook, how to, uh, my nose is running and shit, how to, uh, the benefits of student loans. Like, start teaching them how to, like, uh, hell, make them do your taxes. Shit, make them, make them do your taxes so they can get accustomed to that. You know, teach them. Don't wait till they get older and say, ah, oh, they'll figure it out. No, teach them what you're going through now, so they'd be way ahead of the game. Because I know, one day, if I do have children, they will know everything about branding, marketing, taxes, everything. On top of everything else that they want to know. You know what I mean? I'll make sure that uh, they know how to do all the grown-up stuff when they're small. You know what I mean? I'm going to have some little smart-ass kids trying to tell me what to do. But this jacket is pretty fresh. My homegirl actually helped me make it and everything. I love it. Um, let's see what else is going on. Man, yesterday... See, and this is another reason why I have this. Yesterday... I was just listening to uh, Big Sean all day. Let me tell you, man. I think he's probably one of the most underrated rappers. I mean, he... From from everything from uh, Finally Famous, like his mixtapes, all the way up to the Finally Famous album, all the way up to his new... Uh, uh, his new album that he, he released. Like, you can see the prog progression in his music and uh just the lyrical content and everything like that and how he keeps it real and you can actually damn you can actually uh really feel everything that he's spitting you know what i mean you can tell it like like his lyrics are loyal you know he's loyal to his soil as e40 would say so i think him underrated rappers him Childish, Gambino, definitely Pusha T. Uh, who else do I think is underrated? Uh, man, those those just come to the top of my head right there. There's more out there. But those three should get more recognition. Oh, and also, listen, man. To me, one of the coldest rappers of all time is probably Busta Rhymes. Like, his, like, he has a full body of just nothing, nothing but hits. It's crazy. I mean, stuff that, like, I almost forgot about. You know, it's just, I, I like it, you know. Everything from, you know, here we go, yo, here we go, yo, so what, so what, so what, so scenario, you know, as I combine, you know, to uh, here we come now, here we go. You know, break your neck, fool, break your neck to pass the Kavarsie to all that. Man, Buster. Yeah, all that. So shout outs to Buster. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys a little secret right now. I do not have deodorant. So I'm rolling up into the famous Walmart. I'm gonna get me some deodorant. I'm gonna get me some carbs. Yes, I'm eating rice today. Two days without carbs. I'll tell you more about that, but I'm eating carbs today and all that and um, getting some other stuff, some water and everything like that, so I'll be right back. Yeah, so I went two days without carbs and everything and almost like, well, I only had like probably 50 grams of carbs both days. It's just crazy, I'm cutting down. It's wearing a tearing on me, but I'm probing up today. I'm gonna go with the uh, garden vegetables. I got some peas and carrots and corns up in here. And you know me, you know, I, I got to, you know what, I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna get me this tropical and this, this bubble. Tried it. Best, this one really, 
to get the ladies especially if you're out at the bar get this one right here they'll give you a compliment on your breath trust me i've been there son i've been there Stuff smells pretty good. It works. Yo, so, all right, so check it, man. I was on low carbs for the last two days. Now I'm up in my carbs and everything. And I'm running, I was running on fumes, right? I'm getting numbers wrong. Like, I'm trying to do my own calculations. It's pretty hard. I mean, that's, that's one of the things about dieting down and everything like that and that. I'm doing it right because I don't want that yo-yo diet so I'm actually leveling off so I won't gain all this weight back right but um it's a hard work and dedication you know I'm doing this I don't know what you guys consider all natural but I'm not taking like HGH or any kind of steroids or any hormones or whatnot I did try like this uh, a long time ago like this all herbal like t testosterone thing but I I only did that shit for a week because I don't even want to mess with that. You know, I'm good with my testosterone. And I don't want to try to put stuff in and out and the next thing you know, I have to depend on it to, you know, get hard. No, no, sir. Right? I forgot what that shit was called. But it was all, all natural, all herbs and spices and shit. Like the shit came from like Burger King or whatnot. Damn, KFC, Secret. I don't know. But, um... But yeah, I'm excited. Carbs today! Yes! Yes, thank you, Jim Gods, for carbs. I love it. I love you. Thank you. I'm blessed. I'm grateful. Um, but yeah, uh, just guys, guys, if you get anything out of what what I'm what I'm gonna say today, just kind of think about this, man. The some of the keys to being successful. It's gratitude, even though I know there's some ungrateful motherfuckers out there just really successful. But gratitude and don't be jealous, right? Just gra be, be grateful and don't hate, right? And here's the thing, like, you can get to where you're going by yourself. It might take a long time, right? It might, it might do it quick. But... It's always good to have help here and there. And the, and how you do that without losing focus on what you're doing is you continue doing on what you're doing, right? Then reach out and help out other people while you're doing something. So you already you already have something going on. Then you help somebody else out. And that will go that's going to open up doors for you, you know? Especially if you if let's say you're helping somebody else out and you're not getting paid enough money or whatnot use that as networking or whatnot i'm not saying don't get paid i'm not saying do sh do stuff pro bono no i'm saying um work things out that's going to help benefit you because sometimes money isn't the most uh important deal out of working with somebody you know what i mean maybe you're building loyalty you know, maybe you see them in like phase four, phase five of what you got going on. You see, but um, especially if they always come to you because they're dependent on your work and and everything like that, they're going to open their mouths and spread it out. But always make sure you always have something to so, something going on, and every day you're pushing that along and and helping other people out because the more people you help out, and the more people you reach out to, which is technically called networking. 
the more doors is going to open because you don't know who knows who. That's why you never want to talk shit about somebody. If you have a problem with somebody and it's genuine, fine, express it, but don't, but be sure that whatever you say negative about that person, you can say it to that person's face. You know what I mean? You can say that, you can say it to that person in a, in a closed elevator, you know? So, um, but... Uh, don't get caught up in a lot of BS. You know what I mean. If you're loyal to some, if you're loyal to a group of people, stay loyal. But also be straight up. But if you tell them like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm going to do business with that person, like you, you just have to, you gotta have weave in and out. You know what I mean. You gotta be straight up with everybody because at the end of the day, nobody can say like you're, like, like you're a fake or a phone if you're straight up with that person. You know what I mean. Hey, business is business. And that's another thing. Business is business. That's why, I, like, I'm kind of careful doing business with family because, I mean, you have that personal relationship and then you have that business relationship and sometimes that can uh, conflict with the uh, with the personal self or, and or vice versa. So you just got to be careful. But um, just be willing to network and willing to do stuff that will benefit you and it doesn't always have to necessarily be money you know what I mean because um, everybody uses everybody right but um, me I'm not going to take advantage of any situation because to be honest with you I decide who I want to work with it's my decision like money or like money any kind of, uh, I guess, agenda or whatnot is not going to influence me. I do it because, well, I do it because I want to. And I see, I guess you, man, I guess it's kind of like my own personal agenda. I see it helping me out in the long run. But anyways, I'm just going on and on. I got my fresh jacket on today. I'm hitting the streets. You know what I mean? I got to make this money. What time is it? It's 8.27. So I should have this video up and going by noon. But uh, with that said, I'm going to say this. Learn as, learn as much as you... Uh -huh. uh, okay. Learn as much as you can. Become your own guru. Because nobody knows your body better than you do. I am your host, Baba Tuesday. Hey, turn your positive thoughts into reality. Because what you put out in the universe will come back to you. You know? So, hey, and that's, hey, karma's a bitch. So if you're out here doing some knucklehead stuff, at the end of the day, karma's going to have the last laugh. So don't be out here taking advantage of people. Take advantage of your situation. I'm out.